been to museums and I love the museum. I have been to the Children's Museum 10 times. Okay, 20, okay. I have kids ranging in age from three to 10, and so there's really something that all of the kids can do. Love the Children's Museum. They love coming down. Everything's their size. I love it because it's so clean and it's a safe environment. You know, the one thing that I noticed about the museum was uh, the fact that the things that the kids are learning in school, uh, immediately when we came into the museum, uh, they started talking about uh, pulleys and lovers and things and simple machines that they're learning about in science and the immediate connections they made between the things and activities they do in school, uh, the things they enjoy in life, and being able to do it right here. And it's really fun. <laughs> Well, I teach kindergarten, so I always strive to be developmentally appropriate, and doing that means that my children are going to be learning academics in a fun, appropriate way. And so whenever we come to the museum, we're able to explore the museum while we build our vocabulary, while we do our hands-on activities. We build on our fine and gross motor skills. It easily complements what I do in my classroom. Let's, Let's go, go to, to the museum! Please can we go to the Children's Museum? <laughs> Imagination, I think, is probably when you're like, when your mind thinks about what something would look like if you were in like your world and like what it would feel like to you if you could put it that way. The role of imagination is to expand your mind, is to discover new learning. Imagination means something made up in your mind. And be innovative and be a creator. And what better place to do that than in a museum such as this one. Three, two, one, go! It's just so fun to see what their little creative minds have. Whenever you say, we're going to the museum, what pops into their head? I like the ball pit. Ball. In the ball area, you can collect balls and put them in the tubes, and then they'll go up into this big bucket. It goes up, goes down, Ooh. and then when the siren rings, drops on the floor. They fall down on your head and you try to catch them. That's kind of fun. I like the art and crafts. Oh, oh the painting pictures. I did this. So all of my art goes on the walls. A rectangle, circles, triangles, diamonds, stars, and moves. Love the groceries. Play is central, absolutely central. Every child in the world will play. It develops socialization skills, that is turn-taking. Even little ones will, will know that they have to wait, that it's their turn or somebody else's turn. It develops cognitive development in terms of um, pretend play, in terms of representations that they have about the world. Basically, all the skills that one could possibly imagine in, in a human being. You get the little carts and you can pick out food. It feels like the real grocery store. Um, like ice cream, tomatoes. I have a lot of English language learners, and so seeing them build the vocabulary as they're going through the miniature store and they're picking up and saying, look, grapefruit, look, strawberries. Strawberries. Mint. Chocolate milk. I get to watch my mom go to the grocery store and do all that stuff, and then at the Children's Museum, you get to do that same stuff. Only everything's your size. Apples. Apples. Bananas. Bananas. Pickles. It's such an amazing thing to give to. And for me, as a young woman, and knowing that I will have kids one day, it's like, I want my children to get this opportunity, so in turn, I will give. 
Thank you. 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 Thank you and gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Noah, how you dismissed what I was gonna ask. Where does a cow go on Saturday nights? To the movies. Thanks, Mom, for bringing me down to the museum, but we really came down here <laughs> because it had to be in a commotion. How I wonder what you are. Ba, 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 where's the high? Moon, moon, moon. Why did the seal go to the doctor? I don't know. Because he wasn't feeling well. Feeling well, feeling well. <laughs> Us when we come out tomorrow, but you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Okay, cut. <laughs>